I'm Katie and welcome back if you're a returning subscriber, you're the best. If you are new to my channel and you enjoyed today's video, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It's a big fat red one that says subscribe on it. Fun fact for you, if this isn't your first time on my channel, there's a chance that you aren't subscribed because 95% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please help a girl out, hit that button. It's not going to take you two seconds out of your day just to help someone else and you'll get some good vibes back from the universe. So today's video, I have a JJ's house haul. So basically I'm doing a review of JJ's house clothing. So if you've heard of the brand before, they are a Chinese company. Um, they're a massive Chinese company. They've been around for years and years and years. And they're known for supplying wedding dresses, you know, like wedding guest outfits, bridesmaid, things like that. But they also have a massive, and I mean massive, like to pick these clothes took me forever. So I've done you a favor by picking out the nice bits, but they've got a massive, massive, massive section of like general everyday wear, really nice occasion wear dresses, like not fancy, but nice. So I've got some really nice pieces to show you. A few little misses maybe that I'm not in love with, but that may just be my personal style. So we'll see what you guys think about what I share with you. And as always, everything will be linked down below if there's anything you wanna shop in the description box. If you are new to my channel, I upload videos Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday. And if you're subscribed, you'll know occasionally I throw a little few more videos in there during the week. So this week, uh, we've got a weekly vlog. We've got a review of some vegan skincare products and also a Zara haul as well as this one. So a really busy week this week. So definitely a reason to hit that button. Okay, let's go. So I'm gonna share with you these pieces, I'm gonna share with you the sizing, I'm gonna share with you how much they are. Although the website is in dollars, so what I'm actually gonna do is leave the prices in the description box. Tell us about that. I'm pretty sure they gave me a discount code, so if they did, I'll put it across the screen now. So these items have been gifted to me, but this is not an ad. I'm not paid to talk about these products. This is my honest feedback of them. As you will see, I'm very honest, but I think I am very picky, so I'm a good little critic when it comes to these things. I will give you my honest feedback. Um, and one thing just to bear in mind when you're shopping on JJ's house is that every single item, which I think is fabulous, very similar to Shein, if you've ever shopped on there before, they have every single item is the size and the measurements of the items on each item. So if it's a medium, doesn't mean it's gonna be medium for everything in the haul. Do you see what I mean? Like one medium might be waist 26, one medium might be waist 29. You need to look at specific measurements on each item when you're ordering. So for me personally, I think that's way better because you know it's gonna fit you and it is from China, so it is gonna take a little bit longer. I think shipping takes about two to four weeks, so just bear that in mind if you are ordering from them, but it's nice when it turns up. You're like, oh, look at this big box of stuff. Also, please bear in mind that you probably will, if you are in the UK, have to pay tax on this. Um, I had a 500 pounds worth dollars worth of clothes delivered and it only cost 18 pounds in tax. So it's not too bad, like don't think it's gonna be mega, so just, but just bear it in mind. And yeah, let's just get straight into it. So this is the first piece that I'm gonna share with you. Let me just move my flowers over. Uh, this is the first piece that I'm gonna share with you. As you can see, it's like a gorgeous ruffle, perfect little summer dress. I'm actually thinking about wearing this on my birthday um, as I love it so much. I love the little frill sleeve details, which if you didn't know is on Saturday. You might, this, this might be alive by then. Um, it's got really cute little fruit sleeve details. It has a waistband that goes around it, which is down there somewhere, um, but it doesn't like actually pull in at the waist unless you really tie that very tight. It is just the size that it is. It's got a zip up the back. It is quite short, so tall girls. Um, I forgot to mention I'm a size 12 and I'm five foot nine ten, so I am fairly tall, so just bear that in mind when you're thinking about sizes and lengths of things. Um, so this one's quite short on me, but obviously like average height, two ones, this is gonna be fine for you. Um, and if you don't mind it being a little bit short, like I don't really mind occasionally, I think it's quite a classy little dress apart from the shortness. Um, yeah, I feel like you can get away with it. I got this in a size small, um, and the fit was really, really nice on this. I really like it, I love it, and I'm just definitely just gonna wear it on my birthday, so that's how much I like it. I did think it was navy, not black, but now I'm looking at it, I think it's black. This one is a bit of a funny material compared to, I've got a very similar style dress, 
um, and it's a completely different material. That feels more like cotton and this feels more like polyester. But overall, I really like this piece. Okay, this next little piece is a really gorgeous play suit, um, but it's like three quarter length legs, which I think is really nice. I love the grey and white striped detail, I think it's very classic, it's never sort of going to go out of style. And it's also very classic, as it's a classic piece, it's quite smart, but then it's also got this really funky like open back. So it takes it from being like very sophisticated and smart to like a bit fun and flirty as well, which I like. Um, this one is a medium, so like I said, the size in to check each individual item. I think it's really nice, really different. Um, I've always been a fan of like a white and stripe, but I think it's just classic. It's got little pockets. This one was a little bit snug on me, so perhaps size up on this one. I can't remember if maybe they just didn't have a large at the time when I was ordering, actually. That's coming to mind now, but I think it's really nice. It is a little bit see-through as well, but it's going to be gorgeous for like a nice beach piece something to wear on holiday, that kind of thing. It's lovely, thin. It feels like a linen material, but I'm assuming it's probably not. Um, I can't see that it tells me. No, I can't see that it tells me the material anywhere. But this is a really nice little piece, and this bit is stretchy at the back, so it's really cute. Um, Body-wise, it was okay for me, like lengthwise, so that's good. It was just a little bit snug in the sense of how it fit. Um, but I really like this. I think it's gonna look super casual, a nice straw hat, a nice pair of like tan flip-flops. Really easy to wear, really lovely. If you aren't following me over on Instagram, I just remembered I wanted to let you all know I'm actually holding a giveaway over there at the minute where I'm giving away a gorgeous pair of earrings, a humongous pot of hair mask, which is like 30 pounds, but the best hair mask you'll ever use, and the most gorgeous macrame, like um, bamboo handle bag. Um, so if you are following me over there, I'll pop it here now, definitely head over, either pause the video and come back, or do it at the end of the video, but don't forget, I will remind you again at the end of the video, head over and enter my giveaway, so it is going to be live until the 1st of July, but um, at the minute I am doing quite a few giveaways and things like that over there, also I probably will be doing a giveaway with some of these items, so if there's anything you love and they happen to be in your size, perhaps you should come and follow me just for that reason. You can also shop all of my outfits on my Instagram over on Like To Know It if you ever want to know where anything's from. So whilst we're on the beachy vibes, I thought I'd show you this lovely like caftan, you know, over a bikini dress. It's really gorgeous. It's completely like a sheer white, lightweight. I love this detail at the top. I think it's beautiful. It's beautifully made. I love the sleeves on this as well. I think they're really pretty and feminine and girly. It's also got this really cute like little bit with the tassels. Personally, I probably would take this out which you can completely do because it's not actually in the material at all, which is amazing. And I think I would personally just leave it plain for me. I just didn't like this crisscross bit on me, but it is a really cute detail. And I always do think tassels are really cute. Maybe what I would do with that instead is like pop it around the waist um, and just leave the tassels hanging down. I think that would actually look really pretty. I might have to try that in a minute. Um, and then I just wore one of my own bikinis underneath, which is an old bikini from Shein, but it's just a white one. So if I can find it, I will link it down below for you guys as well. Again, while we're on the beachy vibes, we may as well go to this dress next. And this one I also was wearing the same bikini underneath because I think this is more of a beachy number as well. Again, with like a nice sun hat and some tan sandals, beach straw bags, and look like really, really cute. I think this is lovely. I love the detail going down here on this. It's like a shirt dress. It's super chilled, super like lightweight and comfy. It's going to be great for summer. I absolutely just love this detail. I think it's really pretty. The neckline was really nice. For me personally, this was a little bit small, so I got this in a small, um, and it was a little bit small on the bust area. It's just a little bit tight, and I know what I'm like if something's a little bit like that. Probably, I wouldn't get much wear out of it, so this may or may not be going in a giveaway over on my channel soon. If you like this little number, um, I think it's absolutely gorgeous, and if it fit me properly, I would definitely keep it. I'd say this is probably more of like an eight to 10 UK size. So yeah, it's really, really nice, and it is from this company called Shiley, which a lot of the items are from. Um, yeah, so I really like that one. It's just pretty and girly, and again, classic, never gonna go out of style. I really love it. Okay, so we're gonna go away from the summer vibes, and more autumny vibes. I know it's not that time of year yet, but nice classic pieces like this will be in year after year. So something like this, if it's on sale, by all means, go ahead and buy it now. And this is actually a copy of a Zara jumper that I actually already have. It's in black. And the button detail is exactly the same on the sleeves. There's three of them. It's a high neck. It's the same, literally the same material. It's gorgeous. I love this. I think this colour is going to be so lovely. Tuck this into a nice pair of like white jeans. I think in the cutaway I went with a pair of white shorts. It would be nice just to pop on in the evening. Say you want to go for a walk in the evening with a nice pair of white shorts, tan sandals. Obviously, people wouldn't wear the heels that I've got on. But I just wanted to show you that it can be versatile for in the evenings of summer as well as 
you know, obviously autumn and winter, and I think it's just a really lovely, lovely colour. Um, and something a little bit different, rather than, like I said, I've got it in black, and I wear it to death during the winter, but I probably wouldn't wear a black version of this in summer or autumn, but I would wear it in the winter. So, yeah, really nice, cutchy piece, and I was really happy with that one. If you are a regular on my channel, you will probably know that me even wearing this blue top is very vibrant for me. I'm normally more of like the whites, the nudes, the pastels, those sorts of shades, but it just came from Zara the other day and I just literally fell in love and I just thought, I'm going to start wearing more colour. And on that note, this arrives and this is very bright for me, I'm just going to put that out there. I don't know if I would wear this yet. When I put it on, I was pleasantly surprised. When I took it out of the bag, I was a little bit mm, 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 not so sure. This is a medium. The fit was really nice on this, and this was a little bit longer, so it wasn't too short, which was really great. It kind of like tucks in here at the waist, and then also it's got this frill, lower frill, but it does actually cinch in a little bit on that lower frill, which I think is nice. It just sort of like hugs into the body rather than just hanging. You can obviously do this up in like a pussy bow, nice and high, or you can do it open, a bit more cash. It's got really cute little sleeve details. This is just really simple, effortless, whole outfit in one. I do actually really like it. The more I look at it, it's grown on me. I've always had a little bit of hippie in me, and I do feel, feel like the colour is a little bit like funky, a little bit hippie. Say that, but I actually can imagine these kind of pieces. I can see them other places. I don't, I don't hate it like I thought I was going to. Let's just say that. I also forgot to mention that the jumper was a size small and the fit was great. On to another summery dress. If you are new to my channel, you will soon learn I love a summery dress. I love outfits that are just easy, put on, and you have an outfit. And I feel like that's what you get with dresses. You have a whole outfit in one. You haven't got to faff about putting the shorts, the top, the, the bits and bobs together. It's very simple. And that's how I like to live my life. Very simply. So this is a medium. This one actually, I mean, although it is a big fit in style, it's not meant to sort of like cling or anything like that. It was a little bit big, unfortunately, this one. Um, and it kind of just didn't sit quite right on me. I think this would be great for just like chucking on, going down the beach, those kind of things. But you could also dress it up with a nice pair of like strappy sandals, maybe some white belly theirs, maybe some um, tan ones I think I may have worn in the cutaway. And then I paired it in the cutaway. I put a belt around the waist just to cinch it in a little bit. But that's all I had at the, at the moment. So maybe see what you can find. But I think, I actually think the tan did look really nice with this dress. But I think this one, like I said, because it's a little bit big, maybe going in a giveaway over on my Instagram if you're not following me at with Locati. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, but it's actually beautiful and I like the way it scoops down at the back as well. I don't know, I might see if my mum wants this because I could just imagine her wearing it actually. And I think she, it would look lovely on her. She's got a pair of like white big and stocks. I think it would just look really super casual with those. So if she does like it, I might, I might have to give this one to Sal. If you're watching Sal, let me know down below if you want it, okay? See if she's actually listening to the videos. <laughs> Okay, so these I feel like were a little bit of a miss, although they are, they are, from the side, they're gorgeous. I actually really love them from the side. Unfortunately, from the top, I just feel like this bow looks a little bit cheap. And that is my honest opinion. It does look a little bit cheap. There's a few other little flaws with these shoes, so perhaps I'm going to say maybe don't go for the shoes. Um, they have got some like glue dried onto the outside of the shoe not you know they're they're not they're not great they're not great quality i can't remember how much these were i don't think they were that much i'm going to show you a little mud under the floor on this one as well there's like some sort of mark on the band so for that i'd say maybe the fit of these was great and normally when i buy like shoes from china they're just way too small for my feet these are a size eight and i'm normally a seven wide fit so sometimes i do go up to an eight um, but if I know I'm buying Chinese shoes, I will always go up to an eight <laughs> because they're just typically so much smaller than UK sizes. Um, the color of these is cute and the idea of them is gorgeous. I was really excited for these to come, but unfortunately this just does spoil it. I'm wondering if we could like do a little bit of DIY on these though and either like spruce up the bow, stick some pearls or something on it. I don't, I don't really know. Any ideas welcome. Or see if we can, because the bow is only stuck on see if we can take that off because if that was off these would be just gorgeous i would wear them it's just all it is is the bow for me is just not it's not it's not having it i'm not having it it's not not my thing oh and i just knocked something off 
onto something absolutely gorgeous. This I was so happy with. This is an extra large, like this is what I mean. I've gone from a small to an extra large now, but let's put it on here, sorry, it'll be a little bit easier. I mean, looking at it from this perspective, it looks like a 12 to 14. I probably this is gonna fit anyone who's a 12 to 14 nicely, UK sizes. Um, it's got this gorgeous frill down the front, which I love. It's just really nice. It's like it's like sexy but subtle, which is my favourite kind of thing. Which if you're not new to my channel, sorry if you always hear me saying this. Um, it's got a nice low back. It just like sits really nice on the bum. Get that booty out, and then it's got adjustable straps for the shoulders, which I always say is so handy because why would you not put adjustable straps? Like not everyone's shoulder to boob ratio is the same. This is so handy, so I love this and I'm really, really happy with this and I can't wait to wear it somewhere. I just feel like I wanna go down to the beach now just so I can wear it. Um, I think it would look gorgeous as well. You know that caftan I showed you at the start, maybe if you had a black one of those just on top of this. Oh, that would just be a little bit dreamy, wouldn't it? That would just be a little bit dreams. So this dress I've actually already worn, that's how much I like it and it's very similar to the first one that I showed you. However, this is when I said it's more of this is like a cottony material and obviously it's midi in length. So this is absolutely gorgeous. I love the way the split on the leg just flows. This just fit absolutely perfect. This is a small, again. It's got a tie around the waist which you can really cinch your waist in with, which is really nice. I've been told to not play with my hair as much in, in in, in videos and I'm really struggling not to so anyone that offends I'm deeply sorry but get over it basically there's big going on in the world okay so yeah this was a small it's black and it's just really cute and just just lovely like perfect for like a garden party that's actually where I wore it I wore it to a garden birthday party the other day and I felt really nice in it and this is probably one of my faves from the whole piece from the whole haul only a few more little bits to go. So this one is a little medium. This one's like a nice snug cream jumper. So I'm very normally like white, maybe more than creams, but I actually like the fact that this is cream. It's a bit different. I've got another cream one to show you after. And I like the way it's like contrasting from the white and the cream here. I really love this detail. I like the way, I don't know if it's just because it's a little bit big, but I like the way it sort of like sits almost just off the shoulder. I wore this the other day with a pair of nice blue jeans. Um, and some sandals and it looked really nice. Um, I actually had a compliment on it when I was out as well, which is always nice. And yeah, I think this is really sweet. Like I wasn't sure when I took it out of the bag, but as soon as I put it on, I was like, yeah, this is really nice. This is a medium, like I said, and it fits sort of like that loose fit, which I actually really liked. I think it suited the style of the jumper. I think if it was tight fitting, I don't think I would have liked it half as much. Um, the back is just super plain, it's a little bit short. Um, and it would just look nice also, just like tucked in at the front, like maybe into like some high-waisted mom jeans, that kind of thing. Maybe like these ones that I've got on now, they're just like white mom jeans, look really super casual with those, and like some tan loafers or tan sandals. Yeah. JJ's house is bringing the colour into my wardrobe today, isn't it? This is bright for me. My best friend actually texted me because I was wearing this on my Instagram story the other day, and she was like, you're wearing green. And I was like, yeah, I've been wearing, I've been wearing sage for the last three months. She was like, you're wearing green. I was like, I wear colour. And I, she was like, no, you don't. So this is going to make her laugh if she watches it. Um, this is a small and it's a really gorgeous, like chunky neck cardigan. I think this looks great. I wore it the other day with just like white denim hot pants. And I think it looked really cute. And again, something nice to just chuck on in the summer evenings. Really, really sweet. I love the button detail down it. I love the length of it. I love the fit of it. It's just like super cash, chunky. I was really worried when I was ordering online, to be honest, because I was like, I'm not typically a small anywhere. So like, to be buying all these smalls, I was like, oh my god, they're trying, they're gonna arrive, they're gonna be tiny. But honestly, what it says, sizing on the website is what it is, which is so useful, like better than H&M. Come on, wake up H&M. Gee whiz. I don't know if you've seen my H&M haul. Literally, <laughs> everything in it was like hanging off me. I was like, what is this? I used to shop in H&M and I stopped because I had to go up sometimes two or three sizes and I was getting like, I'm not a UK 16, what the hell is this? And then all of a sudden now, they've got their sizes to regular sizes, but the website was telling me by bigger and oh my God. But anyway, I do love H&M and I found a new love for them this summer, but their sizing is weak and I just think they need to sort that out. But JJ's house have got their sizing down to a T, so only one thing actually didn't fit me very well out of the whole haul. That's nuts. So yeah, I really like this and I think it was a really reasonable price. 
And I do think they had this in a few different colours. I actually think they had a lot of the pieces in different colours. So if you're not keen on the colours I've shared with you, then maybe it's still worth checking out um, for see what's see what's there. You know? You know. When you fancy a little shop online. I love a little shop online. Even though I have missed the shops being open. They've reopened in Wales this week and I'm like in no rush to go back to them and especially not while the BQs because I hate queuing. I hate it. I hate it. It's like what puts me off Disneyland and I love Disneyland. But hot weather and queues, which we've actually got right now, is never. Okay, so this last little piece. Oh, I've got some of my makeup on it when I took it off. It is a really cute cream jumper. I did think this was going to be white. But I do actually like it, like I said, for a change in cream. Uh, I think, again, it's going to look cute now with some white little trousers like these. Or even like denim trousers or even black. Um, or shorts. Really, really sweet. This is a medium. It's quite big. As you can see, there's a lot of material. It's very chunky, very thick, very like cutchy and cosy. If you're not Welsh, cutchy basically means like snuggly and warm. And it's a nice Welsh word for that, basically when you want a nice snuggle. Um, it's got these really sweet little silver details on the buttons on the arm, very similar to like the Zara copy one. I actually think this may be another Zara copy, it's just one I might not have. And yeah, the roll neck on this was lovely and chunky, just sort of like sat and hang. This one is a little bit longer, which is nice if you like to keep yourself nice and toasty. But again, you could tuck it in. You could actually tuck this into a nice midi skirt, you know, like those floaty midi skirts. I've got polka dot ones, would look really nice tucked into. Um, and then just like the skirt hanging down. So yeah, I really, really like this. And I'm just pleasant, so pleasantly surprised with this haul. Um, I feel so lucky and thankful to JJ's house for sending me all these clothes. Um, so thank you so much. And thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and my honest review of JJ's house. So that is my honest review. Like I said at the start of the video, just be aware that they may take a little while to get to you because they are from China. So about two to four weeks. Just bear that in mind, the same if you order in Shein and Zaffle and those kind of, you know, online Chinese websites. Just please bear that in mind, that's all I'm saying. Like I said, if I do have a discount code, I'll put it on the screen for you, I'm pretty sure they gave me one. I just can't remember off the top of my head. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button. Why would you not? Help the girl out, subscribe. Women Empowerment, Girls Helping Girls. If I can help you in any way, please let me know. And I will hopefully see you in the next video, either Monday, Wednesday, or Sunday. And yeah, just, just have the best week, guys. Have a lovely, lovely week. Make sure you pop to my Instagram. Check out that competition, that giveaway. It's definitely worth entering. And I would love to chat to you over there as well. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye.